Right. Live. <clears throat> well, still got to sort things out in the background, but um, tonight we're hoping to play ranked. Now, the whole idea behind this is um, just to have fun. So, I will be playing your requests of any tier 7 ship that I have within my port. I can oblige you with, um, so feel free to start making requests. And um, let's let's try and play some of the the non-meta ships, maybe. Play try probably try and play some of the worst potential choices we could for uh, for this um, ranked. Okay, well, does no one just stay there? Well, hopefully it should be okay if I leave it like that. So um, obviously we'll, uh, we'll we'll play through your requests, and I think I'll make the rule once I've got a win in the ship that'll be it for that ship because obviously it's too good for ranked because we managed to get a win so um, <laughs> basically we're going to probably be trying to grind through some of the possibly worst choices uh, that you can pick but be as cruel or as kind as you wish to be Furthermore, I do know that the football is on at 1900 hours, so um, this stream is going to be for those who probably are looking to watch anything but the football. Um, so, um, yes, um, I'm here to oblige you, I hope. So, I mean, while I'm just sorting some things out in the background, things like tags, thumbnail, and all that lovely YouTube stuff, because obviously, uh, I haven't you streamed directly from the console due to my laptop having bought it? But we are getting along quite quickly, actually. I think I just got a tag of the game. And then we're done, as I'll be with you in the chat. So, um, yes, if you're looking for some choices, we have lots to go through. We have lots of destroyers. Uh, and then we have lots of cruisers as well, lots to pick from. Lots of, uh, including some of the uh, now overpowered ones, I guess you could say. We also have battleships as well. So yeah, there are 68 ships for the community to pick from, so hopefully uh, one or two of these ships are to your liking, and then we'll, yeah, we just play for them. I'm not, I'm going to discount the Black Friday ships because generally they're not that different. Anyway. Let's see. Well, we don't have any recommendations as yet, so I think I'm going to go for one of my worst ones. I believe the Zetan is better. We're not looking for the best Brit Battler, we're looking for the worst. <laughs> we were, I think it'd be, uh, be more fun to suffer, I think. I'm, I'm not too fussed about getting ranked finished. Um, so, um, I know there is a, quite a bit of meta, I guess you could say. Uh, where people have been playing things like the Zetan, the Brandenburg, the Odin, the Tirpitz, um, because they are basically are battleships that can do anything and everything, I guess you could say. But that's not what we're here for. We're here to punch ourselves. Let's see. I mean, I know there's definitely one bad choice. That's the Azuma. Zuma's a very bad choice. She's got slow reloading 11, uh, it was 11 or 12 inch guns. Um, no torpedoes. She's got no hope in hell. I've got no idea how you can actually win a game of ranked with the Zuma. So let's give it a go. Yep, feel free to shout out uh, your terrible requests for this, uh, this season of ranked. And we'll see how badly we can do. I mean, we, we can always play a couple of the meta ships if that's what people want, but um, I kind of want to break the mold a little bit. I 
so this is obviously a terrible map and there you go there's the Zeta terrible matchup as well this is everything that the Azuma does not like oh. so yeah I'm not really sure how you really go about these zoom is just huge as well like that gap is supposed to be a whole square across and yeah it's it's not I mean I, I guess I could maybe go this way and go for a But yeah, this is this is a really horrible matchup, and this is a really terrible ship to play in. I think that the base basically what we're here to do is highlight everything I don't like about this 1v1 ranked. And that's basically the way that it forces players to play a meta. Let's see what we can do. My only destroyer game in the Z-turn was against the Friesland. Guess who won? Well, this, I hope the Friesland. <laughs> but I know that's probably not the case. Tiny map and a humongous cruiser and no line of sight. Oh, he's really backed it up, hasn't he? Twenty one seconds till we have an aircraft. Damn, this map is so small. What oh, is it, like a 12 kilometer square map? Things are so close to each other. Not these low, these. Oh.
I will not be a slave to the matter. If I can pull off a win in the Azuma. <laughs> Right, we pulled off a win in the Azuma in ranked 1v1. Oh, <laughs> you can take your meta and you can stick it. <laughs> mm. oh, let's have a look. Unfortunately, Freezing can only really kill destroyers. That's very true. Very, very true. Oh. She would um, count. Uh, she would be countered with Hans Singang radar. Uh, but why do it tier six? Good play, Gage Madal radar. Every smoke, de a smoke so every smoke zone our DD was a sitting victim. That's very true. That's very true. Oh, I don't particularly play DDs much. Uh, find, uh, find it too fast paced. Oh, fair enough. Oh, Mansk. Oh no, not Mansk. Oh. oh, right. Okay. So Zuma um, is a bad choice apparently. Um, Oh, what else have we got that would probably be a really bad matchup? Um, oh, I know, I know Friesland would be, could be a bad matchup. You get a cruiser or you get a battleship and it's just going to be irritating as hell. So let's give it a go. All right, any more any more bad choices that you you chaps can think of or ladies and gents can think of I know we did we did you Dachi on um oh we actually got a DD you got a Fletcher okay we should be all right we'll see we'll see Biz, Biz, Bismarck's probably a, a good choice. Well, yeah, we could take the Bismarck out. In most balls, it's good. Yeah, yeah. Major, there's a few of this in the in the above comments. Uh, ah, okay, I see. Friesland, Riga, Baltimore, Akazuki, Chapayev, Plymouth, Belfast, 43, Ostergotland. Basically, oh, the best thing. With, with that with that list is just shout out shout out a ship at the end at the end of um end of a game and then I'll try try and do it. Good morning, uh, Albinor. Oh, okay, all right. It's time to dance already. Here we go. <laughs> that was quick. 
Riga doesn't sound too bad. Let's, let's, let's give the Riga a go. Riga, Riga. Russian, isn't she? Yes, she is. Let's see, no torpedoes. What's her armor scheme like? Just to remind myself. It's not too bad. But yeah, slow reload. Radar sonar. Let's give Riga a spin then. Do you witch it out? Yeah, it could do. Could do. Riga doesn't have a, a, a torpedo, so a zoomer situation and a bit with a bit smaller guns, that's very true. In fact, I think I'd probably say that maybe a zoomer stands a slightly better chance than Riga, but let's give, let's give Riga a go. New Wichita. There we go, so let's see, we're up against the... Oh, we're up against the Flander. I really thought we were going to be up against the Meta. I can't remember the main battery calibre of the Flander. Oh, I just know I can't offer my nose to it, unfortunately. Three eighties. Oh, okay. Oh, fifteen-inch guns. Okay, so we just can't nose tanker. But yeah, there's just no. This is the thing. This with this one v one ranked, it it kills so many play styles and things like that because the maps are so tiny. I bet you're in radar range. Yeah, you're in radar range. <laughs> like in a normal game, I would turn out and kite away from the Flander. Can't do it here. Oh, wow, well, give it a go. One more volley away. And then we do guns to the left. And we just kite it round entirely. Remember if the Flander has a main battery reload boost or anything like that. No torpedoes, it's just there's just no room. And that AP is a little bit disappointing as well. She's going for the nose. So she knows my armor scheme. This is going to take a while. Oh, 
I actually incapacitated one of their guns. Interesting. Problem is, this is giving her a real nice moment to really line up. Because I don't think I can do anything. Oh, I can! This, is, this seems to be <laughs> Major tries to win ranked and the most strangest ships he could possibly pick. Admittedly, we have left it till Sunday, so we have managed to, I don't know, maybe filter out some, some of the players who are maybe a bit better at it and do play it a lot earlier on. Oh, God, that, was, <laughs> that shouldn't have been a win. <laughs> oh, uh, what else we got? Uh, Wichita, let's have a look. Where's the witch? Where's the, the new Wichita? Not not the OP Wichita. Oh, this could be awkward. This one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's give that a go. I think she'll still do all right. But again, subject to matchmaking. But no torpedoes. Only eight-inch guns. Armor scheme that's only sufficient against fifteen-inch guns as well. Ooh, okay, we're up against a cruiser, we're up against a hipper, okay. Hmm, hipper does have a lot of torpedoes, that's going to be quite scary. Oh yeah, I sit there with the turpits for my Zeton at like three kilometers. Yeah, kind of, that's uh, that's kind of ruling the, um, the turtle back out, isn't it? I mean, it used to be obviously a good while back, but there was a point where the the turtle back armor scheme on the German battleships actually uh, didn't work properly. <laughs> this is going to be awkward, but we'll see how it goes.
we've lost one of them. is going to be an awkward one to deal with especially in the witches her new witches reduced AP angles are bad uh, with the uh, old one the, the hippo would have been sunk already yeah oh but also quite interesting that the the 18 JP on the hippo was going through the bow quite nicely on that hippo has got very good AP though but yeah, the Hippers, Kimber's quite a good ship to pick for ranked um, because obviously um, it can just, um, it's got all those torpedoes and it has got quite decent armor. But yeah, but it's a nice one about this is obviously you learn about all the limitations of certain ships. Um, so remember someone saying Akazuki? So let's grab the Akazuki. <laughs> Let's give this a spin. Mm, Hip's got a turtle back, doesn't it? Yeah, Hip has a turtle back as well. But also has exposed engine modules. So you hit a, uh, a hippo with reasonable caliber high explosives and it usually knocks the engines out. It can be quite funny. Oh, this is... <laughs> this is a horrible matchup. <laughs> what am I supposed to do with this? Oh... Uh... God, this is a horrible matchup. I mean, Akazuki is a, is, can be a fun little boat, but yeah, this is not the kind of situation you want to be in with one. Seriously, you brought a smoke Plymouth? I would have brought a radar Plymouth. I thought a radar Plymouth would have made more sense. Doing over there? Yeah, there's not much you can really do. The is only four point nine. Fire penalty is five point five. So what's the point of his sonar? I don't know. Oh, not much I can do about that though. Plymouth's a very good. Wow. Not much an Akazu can really do against a Plymouth. You're never going to get close enough. I see, yeah, it's kind of. It's why maybe like destroyers kind of fill up. I do want to do a YOLO. Let's do that. Try 
time bow tank yeah problem is it it was trying to work away it was yeah yoda amelia might work well she might be a bit of fun because those torpedoes do like 20k damage each oh but we're up against a baltimore <laughs> Uh, well, uh, we're just going to YOLO, so there's not much we can really do. 30 seconds of radar is going to hurt like hell. But uh, this is, I mean, there, there's no tactics here. This is this is just going to be a pure YOLO. Oh, so someone mentioned using the Agile Edinburgh radar uh, can go against all. The thing is... I've never been a fan of the Edinburgh because she's got what should be a reasonable armor scheme, but it never seems to actually be reliable. Um, oh, here we go, yellow time. Yes, there's not much I can do. All I can hope is that I can close the distance. I'm going to try and save the damage con for uh, when I need it. Now the Baltimore's got a flat stern. That should be all I need. I think YOLO, the YOLO Emilio is going to be quite, could be quite effective because those, I know you say smoke, but with the Baltimore at that range, like she radared me, then she's going to sonar me and I'd rather see what she's doing rather than smoke up and lose that visibility. I think, I think the YOLO Emilio could actually be a, a very good um, ship for ranked. If you do just that pure break, but at the same time, it's going to be really up against what are you up against? If it has torpedoes, then um, you know it's going to be a race to see who can get their torpedoes off first. Yeah, one. Um, yeah, we've done the witch tail, so I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to. I'm trying to avoid repeating ships. Someone said Bound Fast 43. Oh god, I know what you mean. Mm. I, I, I guess just give it a go. Jim BB and BC is kind of screw this though. Yep, that's very true. Try Siegfried with Luchens. I think C3, for C3 it would just be good. Which is a cruiser with 15 inch guns, arm scheme that can resist... Can resist uh, 15 inch guns, and she has torpedoes. Let's see, German battleship Brandenburg, yay! Yeah, we could, we could give C3 a go.
think Battlefield 43 might be in for a chance, but these bloody maps are so small. She just driven and slammed it into the island. But it's telling me this. Oh my god! The map there's like a whole grid square to the island. No, she's just hiding behind the island. What the hell was that with the camera? Doesn't the Brandenburg have sonar? I doubt that I'll be able to get torpedoes up on this. Size of these damn maps. Terp? Oh yeah, Terp is a Brandenburg uh, One side, uh, it's the one downside of the Brandenburg, yeah. But yeah, we're back down to rank 7. Yeah, but I just don't think... Battlefast might work against the crews, uh... <sighs> but yeah, I don't think there's going to be much chance for a Battlefast 43 to really work.
You've got no armor that even an 8 inch gun cruise is just going to tear through you. It's just, yeah, there's not much you can do with a Battlefast 43. So I was like Chipayev at one point. Mm. Rank should be ocean with no gaps. Rank sh The thing is, there's 1v1 stuff. At the lower tiers, those maps kind of make sense because there's actually room to manoeuvre. Like, for, for, for those small ships. At tier 7, when you've got all these ships with all these gimmicks and pay to win and stuff like that, it kind of... Uh, it just doesn't... It just doesn't work. So this is why I kind of feel like ranked at, like, tier 4 and tier 5, this 1v1 ranked at tier 4, tier 5, is a, uh, a challenge of skill. When it comes to tier 7, it's about who can play the meta ship. And if you have that meta ship. And I think that that's why I kind of don't like the way Ranked has gone to this 1v1 mate. Mates. Mates. Goody. Tar Targo is a good ship. That's, that's, not, that's not punishment. That's treating me. Let's get X and let's get X and Y turrets around, and then we'll pop the radar and see if we can spot the mains. I thought I would be able to pick her up with my radar. works. Wargame is just using the word ranked wrong. Um, any proper skill ladder would need to be separate from the commander system or when, if everyone gets all the 16 fours so players can, uh, are playing with the same gear. I, I get you, I get you on that one. I think, I think a Targo would probably be a, um, a good ship to play for ranked. I mean I'll play it for the, for the hell of it. I think Otago is going to have like a good chance. The thing was that the way that ranked was originally, when it was teams of five up against each other with no limits on what ships you could bring, and uh, no, actually, I think it was seven aside, no limits on what type of ship you could bring. Obviously, this was before carriers, so. though. And divisions of three were allowed. That was fun. And then they kind of then they kind of went, no, you can't have divisions more than two, and only one destroyer aside. And that kind of made it very bland, very boring, very quickly. And now they've gone for this. Oh, we we'll do one v one. And at the low tiers, yeah, I, you know, I don't mind it too much. But at the higher tiers, it just just doesn't feel like it works.
call that a trade, but yeah, that's a win for him. But that's the other one. It's like it's caused the gameplay to be this uh, get close and top uh, because there's not much else you can do. <laughs> Let's see what else could be punishment. What the hell is this? What the hell is this? <laughs> I've done not look at this shit at all. Oh, yeah, that arm scheme, that's going to be toast. Reload booster. I stick a commander on this. I have no I, I haven't even played this, and that's probably quite bad. Um, Do we need mods? <laughs> I don't know what to put on it. <laughs> Uh, let's just do aiming systems. Let's just do steering gears. More steering gears. Oh, it doesn't even matter about concealment. Uh, main battery. Let's just go with that. Uh, the Halloween event always have separate commanders for the uh, e equality, uh, but last time we had to upgrade the commanders, but it was co-op, so it doesn't really matter. That's very true. Bye, Artis, please. Yeah, there you go. I want this bow so much. <laughs> I know nothing about this bow. Of course, let me guess. A Brandenburg. What a surprise. It really, I can see how this is thing when the meta is like this, it's gonna get boring very quickly. Okay, the torpedo angles look quite reasonable on this. I was thinking there's an island ground here somewhere, isn't there? But we actually got a torpedo hit. We got two and flooding. Got two fires and flooding on the Brandenburg. Three fires. That might be enough to kill a Brandenburg. Oh no, she's damage gone it. We gotta do this all over again. I think that's a bad little bow. <laughs> I know I kind of feel bad for having neglected that bow 
since she got released. No one ever requested her to be played on live streams. I'm genuinely a little surprised with the buyout. I could play that more. I definitely could. Buyouts is an up tiered the grass. Hello, JJ. Hello, hello. 152 guns, usually over over penning armor. Torps. Torps are good, huh? Could, could you try the Edinburgh? Go on then, try the Edinburgh. Uh, where is the Edinburgh? There's the Edinburgh. Oh, I don't want to play with the smoke build. Um, so you'd probably, I guess you'd probably stick. Oh, let's put Tenant on there. Probably stick Raider on. What's the rudder? I shouldn't need to. Uh, that'll do. I won't bother swapping out the modules. There you go. Let's, let's give the Edinburgh a go. Use the radar. Yeah, yeah. No, definitely. There's no point taking the smoke out on this. The problem is, it, I think the biggest issue with the Edinburgh you're going to find is if you are matched up against the battleship, which we're not, but if you are matched up against the battleship, um, if they just drove at you, say say you got matched up against a Brandenburg, what would you do? Um, they just stay bowed in and drove at you um, and kept firing HE. Um, you'd, yeah, they probably win. To us, any battleship could probably do that. Now we got Charles Mattel with HE. We're probably not going to be coming out of this alive, I'd say. He's right out there, isn't he? Yeah, Edinburgh's got a big wide stance. So if you ever try to bring all your guns to bear, you're generally going to get citadeled. shatter one pen but didn't do any damage two shatter I'm shattering on a broadside cruiser that is that is disappointing like I shouldn't be winning this one. You can run but you can't hide, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> 
Don't you think that? Space French armor, yeah, that's true. Charles has relay booster, don't forget. No, uh, yeah, definitely, yeah, that's why I was never gonna give her full broadside. Uh, she, for four turrets, she needs full broadside. Oh, poor thing. Oh, Las Vegas. Um, you've, we're not, we're not going to play it again. But uh, the first game of this live stream, we played the Azuma, and we won. <laughs> uh, Seek freak. Let's have a go at that then. How about Gascon? I don't have the Gascon, and uh, there's no way that I am spending my Elite XP on um, my Glover XP on getting that god awful ship. <laughs> Yeah, no one's requested any BBs. That's true. We're trying, we're trying to avoid the meta. Oh, okay. This is... I said 23. This is a really bad matchup because I've got 15-inch guns with a really slow reload. So there's not really much stopping a Z23 simply rushing me apart from my torpedoes, which have terrible angles. Flander. Iowa, yeah, okay, we'll see what we can do. Kansas. <laughs> That two launchers. That is two launchers. Oh, I got no idea. This will be reload shouldn't be that good. But we'll have to see. Because he could be using Blue Furion or something like that, which would give you like a ridiculous torpedo reload. Why did you drop a smoke screen? I think I'm stuck. <laughs> Damn German engineer. I love the way the secondaries can't even seem to hit him. Oh, there we go. <laughs> uh, that was just, I think that was just luck. 19 seconds is the base reload, minute and a half, yeah. It's just when they get Blue Fury on there, they got like a sub minute reload, I think. Let's see, Flander, Iowa, Kansas. Let's have a look at these. Uh, let's do Iowa first then. Champagne, yeah, <laughs> go on then. <laughs> Playing all the worst ships, that's what we're doing tonight. I'm not really too fast about finishing ranked. I just want to kind of like. I think it's nice to A play a variety of ships. 
Bismarck versus Iowa. Hmm. Hmm. That's an interesting mix up. Worse? Benito Giuseppe build. Yeah, well, well, we definitely have a lot of battle, well, quite a few battleships mentioned, so we'll, we'll see what we can do. going for the ram. I think he's going to try for the ram. I'm not really too certain about what he's up to. I think he's going for the ram. I'm staying angled a little bit because at least it means some of my secondaries can join in. Just trying to knock his turrets out, but that's not working. bounces. It's one of those games where it looks like it's in our favour for now. Uh, however, um, one fatal mistake and it's all over. So now he's definitely pushing in for the ram.
Nope, he's going for the ram. And that's what you'll find, is basically a lot of players will go, well, I'm, as soon as they go, I'm going to lose. That'll be it, they just throw out the ram. Uh, Canvas, and then Champagne, and Flander, and Veneta. But I suspect a lot of these battleship games are just going to end up with rams. Unless you end up playing against a battleship with torpedoes, then it's going to end up being um, torpedoes. Yeah, so here we have a Brandenburg, so he's probably just going to rush for torpedoes. And we're in this super slow mother trucker. Damn, I forget how small this map is. Yeah, they usually had enough when they cannot do anything, uh, uh, but they thought they did. Uh, the ship is the best when they uh, when they ram. <laughs>
There's not much I can do there because there's just nowhere to go. I'm just enjoying that I've been able to just keep knocking his turrets out. <laughs> so he's just slowly slowly chasing me. That's all I can do. <laughs> if I can keep knocking his turrets out, he won't be won't have any turrets left. That worked. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, what if you put Grotz on a Royal Navy battleship and just ram anyone? He's the only one left with ramming skills. That is very, very true. I did, I have considered like, what if you built like, did like a commander build around the ramming at uh, full ranked. MTC, he screwed that up, yeah. <laughs> Oh, I, I like the way at the end I was able to destroy both his front turrets. So all he could do is just chase me with no DPM after that. I saw a lot of cancers. The fourth turret is a big DPM boost. Yes. Yeah, that's very true. It's, it's kind of like why Brandenburg kind of, kind of is uh, appearing a lot, I guess you could say. Because she has actually DPM. Right, what was the next? Uh, we had uh, Champagne and Flander. Right. Go on then. <laughs> Like I said, we're not we're playing for uh, for jollies is the best way to say. Um, so we're we're not looking to play the best ships. We're not looking to play the meta. Uh, we're just looking to have a battle, at least one battle, probably in a large variety of ships. Ships that are probably deemed to be subpar or maybe not entirely suitable for rank. And we'll just see where we get to. Try a few British B B uh, BBs. Yeah, could do. Let's see what we're up against. Go on. It's a oh, it's a Vanguard. Oh my, that's someone who's not playing the meta. Okay, well this would be interesting. Not really sure how I go about dealing with a vanguard. I guess we just have to wait and see. Vanguard's probably got a very good chance of winning this one, I think. One ship size torpedo coming up, yeah. I think I, that's the thing. A lot of a lot at the moment, the meta is very much mains, Brandenburg, Odin, Turpitz, um, and then after that, it's kind of there's really like that's the ones that people have just been playing a lot. And the reason being is obviously it, it you're bringing a ship which can do a bit of everything. You got lots of secondaries, you've got main battery. You got torpedoes. Sometimes, obviously. So I put a carry there. Sometimes you have sonar. Zeton as well. I should mention. Where the hell is this Vanguard?
So I, mm, he's going for. Is he going for the fire meta? Oh, so that's a very weird position to put yourself into. I am going to have to watch out because obviously Vanguard does have main battery reload booster. Which practically means he can have guns whenever he feels like it. Oh. Well, we buggered that up. Go on, use your main battery reload booster, Vanguard. You have to. Yeah, there you go. I focused too much on getting the front turret round. And totally forgot about the island. I like the white flag and the Champagne Major. Uh, did you use it on the Jean Bar as well? I used the white flags and all French ships. <laughs> 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 oh, <laughs> I'm gonna be in trouble for that. <laughs> yeah, I've got the white flag on all my friendships. It's it's um, I think it was from season two or season three of ranks. Again, that's another thing they don't do with ranks anymore. They don't give you any cosmetics and things like that. It's all about rubbish rewards and steel. I mean, some of you guys must know. Like back in the day, used to get used to get patches and symbols for for completing ranked. You used to get uh, flags on the occasion. Oh, look at Zeton. Well, we're waiting. That's interesting. Oh, there we go. Oh, look, he's charging right at us. Oh, he has got his guns trained this way. I do kind of feel like when I play my um, Flando, it's uh, catch me if you can. <laughs> the speed I have on this thing. <laughs> oh god! All right, now we just got to wait for the Flan, uh, the uh, Z10 to pop out from behind that island, and then we should we should be able to make merry and be on our way.
That was a bit mean, wasn't it? Put a volley at the middle of his ship and all it does was... Wow, did it shatter mostly? Oh. There we go. I don't think Flanders is a bad choice. Where do you find these guys? <laughs> I pay, paid actors. <laughs> Keep in mind, she, she doesn't have a turtle back. Uh, Bismarck, yeah? We haven't played Bismarck. Um, I think... I think, I, think, I, think, I, think, I think... I think Bismarck might work. So I feel like it's maybe not the best thing, but let's have a look. Um... You wouldn't normally, but maybe where to find it? Just rub along without a care. Let's give this a go. <laughs> hello, the action pumper. Hello, hello, hello. Haven't played Wales in over a week, so the stream can be much fix. <laughs> well, we're only messing around in ranked, playing suboptimal ships, and seeing where we can get to. Now, can we just agree to call it secondary as such? I don't, I don't really. Richelieu. Interesting. Interesting. What are you going to do, Richelieu, then? Hard to say what's oh dear god I hate how small these maps are. That is my biggest complaint about this ranked. I think it's originally going for a ram. Oh, I am that broad. That's the other downside of turret view. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Again, so this is the thing. I'm trying to go for a drive-by here, and he's just going for the intentional ram. I love how quiet it went as I drove past. Because obviously, like for some reason, we're too close for even secondaries to really engage with each other. Does go quite broad, doesn't she? Somewhere in there, there must be something critical for my armor piercing shells to hit.
the entire MP just overpens everything. Major, I had to steer front to the, the rear to avoid the, the both. Yeah, I had to, I had to give it a double bounce, definitely. Wow, the Richelieu goes for a ram. He wins now. How can I be spotted but not actually spot him? He's got to be, he's got to be on the other side of this island. What? Wait, what? I, I don't understand. How? <laughs> Very much all about secondaries in that one. Um, he has the uh, yeah the range module. It was just about trying to guess which island he was behind. Giuseppe build you can get eighty seconds smoke. I wouldn't do it though. Wow, not not, not in one v one rounds. Right. I'm going to take a quick rest break. Uh, we are an hour and a half into the stream. Um, submit your non-subprime um, <laughs> ranked requests down below. If we haven't played them already, uh, then we'll, um, we're, we're trying, um, trying to oblige. Um, someone's saying line, so let's get the line up on the screen. I'll be right back. I have got to take a quick rest break. Apologies. Enjoy the music in the meantime. Let's see what we got. Got Lion, Vanguard with Grotz build, and head straight for the Ram. <laughs> uh, all right, let's do. Let's do. 
Let's do long end first, and then we'll uh, we'll take out a vanguard with a ram build. I'll just switch the command around. I won't do anything else. Vanguard probably will fare worse than Lion. Lion's got 16 inch guns, whereas Vanguard's only got 15. The nice thing about Vanguard is the reload booster, but you do have to get yourself really wide. Chapayev. Where's the enemy? He's going to be over there. Uh, Chapayev, he's going to have to go for a ram or a tor He's going to have to go for a close quarters torpedo run. I think that's the likely outcome. Ram guard, yeah. We're g Give Ramgar the go. Does Grotz have running with scissors? No, no, no. He's he's a pure. He's basically Philip Vane, yeah, when it comes or v Vian, uh, when it comes to um, commander build style. All right, Chapai, where are you? Okay, you used your radar. Oh, then you came around the corner, that side. That is a surprise. Let's go and bow in. Go and bow in, might save him for a bit. I probably really should maybe stagger my guns a little bit. I think he was hoping for overpens, but British AP doesn't overpen as as badly, I guess you say. Although, for some reason, although it's supposed to be short fused, you do still get overpens. Alright, Ram Guard. So we're going to take a Vanguard and we're going to put Grotz on it. <laughs> what does he do? Damage. Damn it, damn, oh. I think I'm still going to die. <laughs> I'm just gonna say, I, I think I'm still going to die with Ramguard. But you know what? Let let's give Ramguard a go. <laughs> Let's see, I bet we're up against the meta. Oh no, we're not up against a Flander. Okay. How the hell? I, I, I think you're still going to die with Ram Guard. <laughs> you're going to have to, like, gently ram them.
I don't think that the Flanders gonna let me do HMS Ramguard. Because the flattens is quite quick. I just think it's too much of a struggle, really. At least I don't think Ram Guard would be the right one. Because you want your Ram to be as slow contact as possible. Um, without... Because um, I think if you just go for a full-fledged Ram, you're just going to end up wiping both your, well, both both ships out. Uh, who the hell did I have on this before? A Zerlane Hood, wasn't it? There you go. Right. Well, was there any other god awful requests? Uh, not seeing any. But we're going to avoid the meta. The French didn't turn out too badly, and the Italians didn't turn out too badly. Kansas, we somehow got a win. Iowa, we didn't. I think Georgia could be an interesting one. Massachusetts with a secondary build. I don't even think you have to build Pummy for secondaries on the Massachusetts. We'll do the, uh, we'll do the um, Georgia, then we do the Massachusetts. I think the Massachusetts would probably play very, very similar to, um, to say how the Iowa and the Kansas did. Or, well, definitely probably the Iowa. Bismarck. Mm. 
Although I'd love to spot the uh, the Bismarck. Unfortunately, <sighs> George hasn't got anything nice up her sleeve. Where is she? I'm basically just going to try and deny the Bismarck secondary engagement if I can. The trolley dispersion of the Georgia strikes again, but it's about when those shells hit, they do hurt. Hmm. You know, I definitely, I definitely aimed high on the target, and they landed short. turrets of the Bismarck are ready. Taking a bit of a risk because I know the main batch is going to... I thought she was going to go for the ram, that's why I made what well, I went for a uh, turn and run position. But it seems this Bismarck wants to play the long game, which is well much appreciated. It's interesting that he's running spotter aircraft.
but I think that's the, that's the big kicker with the Georgia is that dispersion I suspect the Bismarck's going for the setup for the Ram I think Yeah, I think that's what he's gone for. He's grabbed the two caps and he's going to try and set up for the ram. Problem is, I'm probably fast enough to deny it. Hello, hello. I wish they'd done uh, tier 3 rank so I can take up the Ashen Core. Yeah. Yeah, that would have been nice. <laughs> See how the Ashen Core does without carriers in the game. Caprice is the worst DD at tier 7. Argue against me, please. Uh, try to convince me otherwise. Um, let's see. I did George. Someone wanted me to play Massachusetts. So let's do a Massachusetts, then we do a Caprice. Where's a Kansas? Okay, this could be interesting because hmm, what will the Kansas do? Because what? Yeah. I mean, when I played the Kansas, I basically spent it running away from a Brandenburg while knocking its turrets out constantly until they were destroyed. And then he gave me a flat broadside and I finished him off. But Kansas versus Massachusetts. Are we going to bow tank? Are we going to do a drive by? Will it just end up being a ram? I think it's going to be like that.
think we're going for a classic drive-by. It's the way that you're too close for secondary guns to engage. Damn islands. <laughs> oh, the islands caught me, caught me out. just find like map situation awareness on these tiny maps really gets you I think second, yeah, secondary saved the day there. Right, Caprice. Well, go away all the way down to destroyers, haven't I? <clears throat> See if this works. Probably won't. Probably get matched up against uh, probably a mains god. It'd be a mains or Brandenburg. <laughs> yeah, maybe a Zeton. You know, really mix it up. Are you Dachi? No, I'm, I'm going to have to treat this Udachi with respect because I actually managed to win a game in the Udachi in rank, so <laughs> there's no guarantees here. See how this goes. Where are you going, you Dachi? You always make me think guns on my right side might be better. Which is a little annoying because that means I've got to wait for X and Y turrets to spin around. Remember, worst destroyer at tier 7. 
Maybe, maybe, maybe not the worst. <laughs> Uh. Oh, not going to complain there. Um, right. Um, any more requests for bad chips? Any more bad requests? I mean, we did the Udachi the other day. Let's see. We, what have we done? We've done the Akazuki. We've done. We did the Udachi yesterday. We've done the Caprice. Uh, we've done the Palo Emilio. We also did a Friesland already. Uh, we did a Wichita. We've done an Otago. Is Udachi really a yes? All right. Okay. We'll do a Udachi just so we got it all in one stream then. Dachi time, here we go. <laughs> oh, cheerio, I'm a grip, cheerio, cheerio. I'll probably, I'll probably stream for another half a Kigero. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, all right, go ahead. Oh. Let's give it your Dachi a go. God. <laughs> Japaya, oh, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm so dead. <laughs> Uh, key Roma. Maybe we'll do the key because obviously because um we've already done we did a Vittorio Veneto so that's very similar to the uh, the Roma so um I don't think there'd be much to learn I guess you could say uh, or much difference in experience playing her. Go on, Chapaya, put your radar on. Oh. I'm just going to get destroyed. I just know it. So dead. Are you seriously backing up this way? I don't understand. <laughs> uh, Kagero gumbo build. Go on then. To be honest, I probably already have a Kagero gumbo build. I think my Udachi might be a gumbo build as it is. Yeah, yeah. All right, Kagero. Bismarck was secondary switched off. <laughs> <laughs> uh. 
Oh, you dachi, best ship for rights confirmed. <laughs> Major approved. Oh, it perplexes me when a cruiser is this scared of a DD. A, a cruiser with radar and sonar and RDF. Like, it, you can have like radio direction finder on that. Why, why play like that? That's already a Targo. Okay. Engine booster, so. Like, like Chris said a couple of streams ago, when I get to Tokyo, I'm gonna have the fastest taxis. <laughs> oh. Yeah, we'll do the key. Vladivostok could be also quite interesting, yeah. Although I think, mm, Vladivostok's one of those great for bow tanking. Um, but, um, she's got a race citadel and that's gonna hurt. doing this? Let's do it. Kagera <laughs> <laughs> well, works. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, that's done. Right, what's, what, what else we got? Uh, key. Okay, I see. Where's the key? Here we go. Let's play the key. <laughs> you are... I, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna argue there, uh, Narco. Yeah, I, you might be onto something. Uh, use the use the Vima. Let's see. Okay, we'll do the Vima stock. See if we can get a, a Vima in there as well. Uh, we have a Brandenburg. This is going to be an awkward engagement. Oh, I have to keep reminding myself of how small these bleeding maps are. No, I got nowhere to move, move to. These islands are just so constricting. It's hard to believe that in like a normal game, this is a single cap. You have to think about how much you brawl over this cap in um, standard. Brandenburg's not showing his hand. Okay, it kind of is now. Oh, 
the way the planes just fly everywhere. Well, how comes my plane can't see anything? Damn, this map is so small. No front toes, please. My front turrets definitely have clear line of sight, so why did we end up in this situation where they flew through the ship? Oh, come on, reload. drive around the island, isn't it? Because there's nothing else you can do. You have to drive around the island like a pair of Muppets. Yep, there you go. <laughs> uh, I haven't done Elbow, no, no. Didn't know bots were allowed in ranked. <laughs> Don't be mean, Vaz. <laughs> Uh, yeah, there's, no, there's nothing else you can really do on that one. Uh, Valley stock. Massachusetts. Hmm. So with that of his stock, she's going to be great at bow tanking, but you don't want to offer any broadside at all. I like the way I say you don't want to show any broadside as I line myself up broadside or No, that definitely wasn't there when I pulled the trigger. Yeah, you can see that the valve of the stock has to go quite broad in order to bring main back valve, the rear turret online. Mm. 
No, 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 I'm turning the wrong way. Thank God she had a HE loaded. Just scuffed him. Was that AP or HE? I think he might be. Yeah, I think he is. Okay. Yeah, I should fit around this island. He needs to go for a drive-by. Or oh, he's going for the ram. He might be going for the ram now. He's now got no turrets on the front. Uh, problem is we're, we're too close that if he goes to the... He's going to go for the ram now. There's not much I can really do about it. My only hope at the moment would be maybe, what if I go for the Armoured Citadel, whereabouts, it'd be about there, so maybe we can get a, a Citadel here. <laughs> or, or we can go for the slow-mo ram. Well, the value of the stock is so long and you can't miss when you go for the ram, that is very true, that's very true. Alright, let's take the Albemarle out. I don't have a lot of hope for the Albemarle. But yeah, let's do Albemarle then. Oh wait, let's do Vimer first. To be honest, I'm kind of surprised we got to where we are. Go playing 
non-meta ships and almost just going along with the whimsy of the chat. Hey, it's a Brandenburg. Yay. Well, I can angle against a Brandenburg, I think. Admiral isn't really that bad in rank. Yeah, I, t I think it, it, it just depends on the matchup. If you end up against something with 60 inch guns, it can be, well, it will be quite painful. Could um maybe we could kite away? Let's kite away for a bit. To be honest, I kind of feel that playing the Vimer is the same as playing the main, so I kind of feel like you are playing into the meta. You're playing into the meta. This is just the meta. Yeah, no, I, I think Vimer mains, Zetan, Odin, Brandenburg, Turpitz is just what's the meta. Brandenburg is going to get upset if you don't get a torp don't get in torping range. That is very true. We oh, made rank two. I'm playing like a, well, I'd say I'm playing like a potato, um, and I'm playing some definitely suboptimal ships. Um, all ships, I'm not, well, apart from the, apart from the, uh, the Vimer, definitely not playing the meta. 
last thing, I, I didn't actually intend on finishing ranked, and this will have to probably be the last game, because uh, I do have to, uh, again, start cooking dinner and stuff. Um, so, yeah, last game in the album, or what are we up against? A Wichita. Oh, this is going to be a battle of the HE Sling Cruisers. My only advantage is I do have torpedoes, but not the greatest angle, and he probably will citadel me while I try and get into range. Oh, well, at least I've got defensive area fire consumer. Right. There you go. Well, at least we know the anti aircraft crews are on full alert. <laughs> Chaps. Now, Wichita has a, a history of being very difficult to Citadel. Uh, the reason being is the Citadel is barely above waterline uh, at the funnels. So we'll, uh, we'll have a crack. Uh, four overpens. And that is basically how it goes. Well, I'll grab the cap. No harm in doing that. At least that means if we end up having to end on a row or something like that, then at least we'll be up on points. Oh, you're going this way. We'll try again to see if we can find this Estelle, but it's very notoriously difficult to find. It's four over pens again. Oh, you're coming around again, are you? Okay. Trust, I could let him ram me. It's actually probably in my interest to let him ram me. So, I didn't intentionally ram. I was trying to avoid that really as much as possible. However, um, yeah, we're, we're going to get the victory because we're off on points. Well, we're two stars away from victory, uh, finishing ranked. Uh, but unfortunately, I'm going to have to part ways. Um, we have played a, a huge variety of ships. We've tried to avoid the meta. We've played some some ships which are probably incredibly subpar, I guess you could say. Uh, now I know I'm doing this on a on a on a Sunday, so m most um, most of the good players, I guess you could say, have probably already got got for it. But you know, like <laughs> we managed to get a 70% win ratio so far, playing really non-meta ships apart from the Weimar. I mean, we got a win in the Azuma for God's sake. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, I. I, w I would maybe consider finishing off, but I do have other things to do, unfortunately. But yeah, we'll put the album on the end screen. She looks quite pretty in this Royal Navy camera. Anyway, I say thank you for everyone who has popped by and 
suggested chips for to play to the season of ranked. Um, we've only played it for um, for for the jollies and the laughs, I guess you could say. Um, and it's interesting to see what players are left, I guess you could say, on a, on a close of play of a Sunday. I hope you uh, all enjoy what's left of your weekend, and I hope you all enjoy the uh, forthcoming week. Um, have a good morning, good evening, good afternoon, and a good night, wherever you are in the world. And before I start going through the chat and saying thank you to everyone, I'd like to make sure that I'm in a position to end the stream. So we just get that sorted. But yeah, so I'd like to say thank you to Sean Whitlin, to Britt Batner, to um, Vaz Vegas, to Narico, uh, thank you to Stuart Weir, and to uh, Albinor as well. Thank you to Peggy Jones and Admiral Criv. Uh, thank you to JJ and Randy Chang. <coughs> Pardon me. Uh, thank you to Action Pumper, hope you enjoyed your holiday. Uh, thank you to MTCD, good to see you. And uh, do we have anyone else pop by? I know it's a bit of a quiet stream, but that's mostly because it's a Sunday and the football's on. Uh, thank you to Kim Mike Excamer. And uh, thank you to Yummy Pumcake as well, much obliged. I think that's everyone who's commented in the chat. If I have missed your name, it's not deliberate. It's just because I haven't spotted it while I'm quickly scrolling through, I guess you could say. But yeah, stay safe, stay well, and look after yourselves, ladies and gents. And until next time, I'm the Gap Major, and back to the port. Pip Pip and Cheerio.